What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you an example of a Solana flash loan. I noticed that almost 90, 80, 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. So subscribe if you want more alpha like this. I know this one is a little bit technical, but um, it's actually simpler than you might think. And obviously I'm, I'm providing you the code right here. So it's definitely alpha. I'll have links to all of this stuff in the description. If you don't know what a flash loan is, um, it's super simple. Essentially you are borrowing and repaying the funds in the same transaction so that it's it it basically is like it never left so because of this you can borrow basically an infinite amount of money um, but you have to have some action to do with it or it's not very useful um, but you know normally like arbitrage or mev or stuff like that is what people will use these for uh, in this example we're just going over the flash loan portion of the code so first things first you will need node.js and here are some of the dependencies you don't need all of these for this but you will need lana web3 solan protocol uh typescript uh i think i'm using node 22 and bn.js i think that's all you need for this uh, but here's the full list of what i have just in case you run into issues so here's the code i'll publish this on my github uh, you will need a new uh, endpoint well two things first yeah you'll need an rpc endpoint i got this from chainstack.com Let's see here. So you'll need a you'll need an RPC endpoint for Solana to plug in there, and then a key pair, which this is just referring to key pair .json. You can generate a new key pair with Solana uh, command line, but you will need a little bit of wrapped Solana in your um, uh, account, whichever you have your key pair right here. So because it uses wrapped Solana for the fees. Uh, down here, this is just this, all of this right here, these addresses are referring to a one specific uh, reserve pool here. So here on this uh, API, the Solent API documentation, here is the all the different pools here. And you can go through this and find which one. So what I did here is I just plugged in scope all IDs and then the wrap Solana address and then hit execute and then it comes up with this and then I did this download and then I opened it here to find the information that I needed basically each one of these reserve um, sets here has all, everything you need but the the one that's in here uh, works there might be ones with better fees or more uh, funding or whatever um, it doesn't really matter this one works just fine anyways here is the borrow amount obviously in a, in a real program you would have this be probably passed in from another uh, variable based on how much you wanted to trade this is just set to one uh, one Solana one billion uh, land ports equals one Solana. And so here's the instructions. We want to do a borrow. Here's all the, it passes in all this stuff up here and then we repay it. So we're not really doing anything with the funds in this example, but your code to do, you know, whatever you wanted to do would basically go right here and say, Hey, you know, we're borrowing, we're repaying, you, you know, we're doing whatever we wanted to do. Maybe it's an arbitrage. So we would maybe search, you know, radium or Jupiter, or both, you know, maybe a few more sites of certain pairs to find like an arbitrage or whatever. Uh, but then, so we'd execute that trade and then repay it. So I'm just going to show you the flash loan portion of it. And so that's, that's basically it. All the rest of the stuff is basically debugging and just like, uh, or just like, uh, outputs to, to be, you know, tell you what's going on. So let's go in here and let's, uh, let's run it. So, so here's, here's the, uh, dependencies you're going to need. So we're going to need to do NPM install TypeScript uh, BN Solana Web 3 and Solan Protocol. I think that's it. I think that's all you need for this. Um, let me just double check. Yep. 
So you can you can just execute that and you'll you'll have all of your dependencies installed. Obviously, I already have them installed, so it's not going to install anything new. But uh, then we're going to go TS node uh, borrow one salami dot TS and bam, there is the uh, outputs. It says flash bar. Whoops. Flash bar reserve liquidity transfer uh, success repay liquidity transfer and these are the paying of the fees and stuff like that but it shows the soul scan link here we're gonna just pull it up and bam you can see the easy to read version of that which basically says hey we borrowed one Solana wrapped Solana specifically and then we paid it back along with a 0 0.0005 so that's half of a tenth of a percent so 0 0.0005 solana which is about 10 cents as of right now nine point something cents so uh not too bad of a funding rate if you can find a profitable trade to do with that in the meantime it makes all the sense in the world to do it so the next step uh, in this is going to be building working arbitrage and mev options mev is a little bit more challenging because you need um certain things for that i'm working on building a node for that um but for arbitrage it's really pretty simple you just need to query multiple exchanges get get quotes and those those all have apis you can check out like radium jupiter all of those have apis you can get quotes from very easily but you just need to compare those quotes and execute it within time that you are profitable but uh so those will be coming soon stay tuned definitely follow peace I noticed that almost 90, 80, 90% 90 of my viewers are not subscribed. So subscribe if you want more alpha like this. I know this one is a little bit technical, but um, it's actually simpler than you might think. And obviously I'm, I'm providing you the code right here. So it's definitely alpha. I'll have links to all of this stuff in the description.